Hello everybody, this is the Balloon Bandit of Amusement with the Twist, Orlando, and Alan Magordo, and Las Cruces, and El Paso. Okay, so just to let everybody know, I'm going to do a bonus video this week, and this one was by request also. Um, it was a uh, horse on a stick, or pony on a stick, whichever the case may be, um, but I'm going to use a yellow uh, 160Q. I'm going to use a uh, purple, uh, it's a um, purple violet uh, 260Q. I'm going to use what is the um, lilac um, 260Q and a uh, rose 260Q. Okay, so we're going to get into this. The question is, do you want your uh, pony to stand out dark or you want him to be light? It's really up to you. Um, when mixing them with uh, other colors. So basically we're just making the uh, horse balloon and then we're going to attach it to a stick. A lot of kids love being able to carry it around on a stick because then they can wave it around and stuff like that. A lot of parents don't like it that way but, you know, everybody seems to want more of them when they're on a stick. Especially if you're doing events and stuff. Uh, makes it a lot easier for the kids to hold it in one hand versus giving them one that's all uh, created into shapes and stuff and then it's like, oh, what am I doing? Yeah, what am I doing? As you can see, we got a dog going on. Let's make a dog. You want to put a dog on a stick? I don't know how much fun it would be, but we can do that too. So we got our dog. Let's squeeze it down. Bring it around. Okay. So we got a dog. And that wasn't what I was making, so I'm gonna have to get another balloon. So bear with me just a second. I get I get talking and I forget what I'm making. And that's a bad habit to get into, uh, talking and forget what you're making, especially when you're doing events. Because you'll be halfway through something and it's like, uh, this piece doesn't go here. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to do the horse. We're going to go, uh, it's open hand bubble, followed by ear twist, double ear twist, whatever you prefer. So, we're going to go, as you can see, I'm pulling out on the balloon and we're going to make another one right behind it and the object is to press it together pull out twist and then position them and as you can see one's leaning down so you have to reposition them until they're both facing and upright and then what you want to do instead of doing a lock twist here basically all we're doing it is checking our distance and that's how we do that and basically, it's an open hand bubble, about the exact same length as the neck, followed by a lock twist, and then you thread it through, just like on the dog. So you have what looks like that. Then it's a hand sized bubble, followed by open hand bubble, followed by lock twist, and a roll through it and this bubble here I I turn into an ear twist on my hook you don't have to you can leave that tail like it is if you wanted but I changed my colors up from my tail to match my mane so basically what I do is I tie that knot like that and there's my basic horse now the only time that I ever leave it a basic course is if they really want it that way. I don't like balloons that are just a single balloon. I like multiple colors, multiple dimensions. But, if you're just learning, good job. You made a balloon horse and a balloon dog in the same video. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so basically what I want to do now is I want to... Uh, um, create what is going to be a petal twist so I'm going to bend it over lock twist here 
and by pulling it through, we got a lock twist, okay? Now, my tail is going to be approximately the length of his legs. As you can see, I placed it up against him. So, my tail is the length of his legs, and I'm going to break it off, but I want to uh, keep the air in this part. If you heard, I let some of the air out. I may not have let enough out, but that's a different story. Okay, and I'm letting a little out of the tail because I want to bend it a little. I just want to be able to squish it a little. Because I don't, I don't like my tail to be like looking like it's going straight up or, or stuff. I like how it curls down. Okay, now we're going to take it and take that ear twist. And we're just placing it against the ear twist. And we're rolling it. We're rolling it into place like so. Take your balloon, separate it, and take that ear twist right there and put it in between. And then bring your tail all the way around. As you can see, my loop is a little bigger than normally is. But it gives it a nice, nice loopy tail type effect. So this could actually be smaller if you wanted. Um, next, we want to take our mane and we want to attach it to our horse. As you can see, I rolled it around the ears after I had tied it on because I want to make it tight. So then I want to go one, two. Three. I got three bubbles. Then we're going to roll it down here around the, the neck and between the legs. Like so. Now we're going to make three bubbles and we're going to go back to the top. One, two, three. And then we're just going to go right up here back to the ears. Okay, on, on the horse, if you want, you can actually do another set down the middle if you really wanted to. But I'm not going to. I'm going to cut it off. And I'm going to tie this up here. Um, if you don't like to tie it or you can't tie it, the uh, best thing to do is wrap it around two, three times and, and call it good. 90% of the time it'll stay right where you want it. Okay, now our horse has, has his head sticking straight out. So we want, to, we want to bring our horse's face down. So basically you want to take... A piece of scrap balloon. This doesn't look like a scrap, but we'll make it into a scrap real fast. Okay, take a piece of scrap balloon. And basically, you want to hold the nose down and you want to pinch your uh, scrap between one set of fingers and put it between the bottom set of bubbles on your horse. And then you're going to tie it around the side. And if I can get it to, voila! As you can see, I got it tied on the side. But that doesn't look nice. So what I do is I stretch the balloon and walk it around until my knots are back here behind the, uh, the head. Position your horse so that it looks nice. You can see we got a pretty, pretty horse. One side is higher than the other on the, on the main, but that's okay. Voila! There we go. Speedy horse. Now we want to take it and we want to put it on a stick. Um, with this one you can blow it almost all the way to the end because you're only going to do just like the flower. It's a 3-4 uh, petal twist. And the reason I do 4 versus the 3 is because uh, um, the horse will set better on a 4 versus a, the 3. So it's a uh, petal twist pedal twist pedal twist and one more pedal twist I'm trying to stay inside the picture I'm sorry if I'm out of your focus and one more okay as you can see we now have four pedal twists it gives me a nice foundation and my balloon is still semi soft I can squeeze it without popping it um, the object is to make it as soft as possible because if a kid is squeezing it, you, you want them to be able to squeeze it as hard as possible and not have it pop. Uh, especially when they're walking, they get tired and bored and all that other stuff. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to tie our horse onto the top of our design. Again, another piece of scrap works wonders for this, so I have a piece. We're just going to wrap it to the front set of legs. And you, you want to go... 
at least a full one and a half turns through. That way when you pull on the horse, he ain't coming off, or she ain't coming off, whichever the case may be. Um, take it, run it underneath your, uh, your, run it underneath your design, and then just strap it to the back legs. If I can get my horse to read, because I'm trying to look at the camera at the same time to make sure I'm in focus, and wrap it through at least one and a half times. I prefer to wrap it twice. Um, it just makes it easier for the horse to stay where I want it to versus uh, where it wants to. Okay. And depending on how you position your balloons, you have a horse on a stick. Is this she pretty easy? Okay, and like I said, this one was by request, actually, it's by my other half. Um, she was making one, and, and she was talking about how her body or her legs were smaller or whatever, and what would I do in order to make the design uh, better. So, it's a horse on a stick. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, you could do that with the, uh, um, the balloon dog, balloon cats, whatever. Basically, you're just tying the legs to the top of a stick, and kids love it. If you want, oh, don't try that at home. <clears throat> the 160s are always a bugger to me. Woo. Okay, so basically all you're going to want to do is you want to find about yay much. Take this. Pop that down. Let out that air. Then what you want to do is you want to turn your bubble so that you only have just just a little bit in it like so and let all the air out and then hold it about back about where your horn would have been oh it's a little a little less than what I wanted in there I want just enough bubble in there that when I do this okay Okay, with that said, as you can see, I took the end of it off. Now all I have is just a small one. And you tie it to the top, and then you have you have a unicorn. And as you can see, by adding just that little bit, it's enough to get the horn to go in the proper direction. You could add more if you really wanted to. Um, if you want, add your wings. If you want a Pegasus, Unicorn, whatever. Okay, so have a great one. Enjoy.